Okay, it begins starting up the road to the trailhead for Moose Mountain. Um, it's, we're a little lucky on this expedition because the road takes us up <laughs> very close to the uh, the tree line. It's a uh, about a 15 kilometer return trip and about 500 meters, so it's nothing too difficult. But the biggest factor I think we're going to face today is strong winds that we'll have to be aware of. And I'll introduce you to our cast and crew. Probably the most dangerous part of our day is right here. Our chauffeur. We got him in our trusty hands taking us up the side of a mountain. And then there's these other two knuckleheads. Daily and Noah. Hello. Bikes are still in the back of the truck. It's gonna be good. Yeah, everyone's gonna behave. We're gonna stick together. We're gonna watch out for bears. We got and, uh, Check in as we go. Okay. Update number one. We're about two clicks down the trail. The trail's been good, nice and wide. Unfortunately, it's gonna be a nightmare when we come home. It's, Shortly after starting down the trail, we dropped into a deep valley that's about 120 meters deep. So that's not going to be so much fun when we come home, but everyone's settling in. We're in the trees, the wind isn't so bad, but I've run into a couple people and they've, uh, they've had to turn back once they get up on the rock. So we'll make any final decisions once we, go, once we get up there and assess the situation. So. Tune in. Okay. So, uh, we're doing pretty good. We've only been an hour. And this is just kind of a POV. Hi. My bag. Might be a little windy, sorry about that. But, you know. So, beautiful tree line to our, to our left here. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I was uh, really tired at the beginning. But, you know. The determination, just like Chinamans. Okay. We'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of rocky though, so. All right. See okay. you next Number time. Number three. We're getting closer to getting up on top of the ridge, not a tree line, but we just had to stop and take in this view. <laughs> It's pretty oh, darn spectacular. Spirits are still high. No one's complaining too much yet. Everyone's just kind of getting our legs warmed up right now, I think. So we'll grind her out. As long as we're not getting 130 km an hour winds up top, we should be good. Anyway, we'll keep checking in. Yeah, I believe this is update number four. We've uh, ditched our trusty steeds that we've been pushing for the last hour. <laughs> It should be worth it when that distance of an hour pushing hiking with them we can do in about eight minutes. Anyway, we've stopped for lunch here. We've broken through tree line pretty much. We're about to start up on the rock. Um, everyone's spirits are high still. Dylan's texting, of course, playing on his friggin' phone. Anyway, it's extremely windy, yeah. like uh, like we were expecting. We've run into a bunch of other parties on their way down that never made the top because they turned back and said it's 90 to 100 kilometer an hour gusts. So we'll, uh, we'll make some informed decisions once we get up there. So I'm gonna turn around and just walk out of the trees here and show you where we're heading. It's beautiful up here. You get a clear, uh, clear line of sight. That's where we're heading. That's actually the false summit. We'll get up and over the top of that and it drops down, we cross a ridge and then go up to an even higher peak. So it's quite the uh, quite the spot for sure. It's the worst things we could be doing on a Saturday afternoon. Anyway, this may be the last time you'll be able to hear me speak, but 
We'll see. Talk to you later. Okay, getting up into the rocks now. It's getting real. That patch of trees down there is where we hit the bicycles. You can see the trail goes way across uh, that meadow over there, then across the ridge. Then we gotta go up kind of directly behind where the kids are. That's where we parked and traveled a long way. So this trail up pretty good. It's busy today. The wind's crappy but doable. You can see the moon up there. Anyway, we're probably 20 minutes from the top. Well, one step closer, we made it to the top of the fall summit. That's where we're going to the fire hut up top there. But boy, we got a 360 view now. Just looking north. date number this is right about now um, we're making good progress I think we're about half an hour to summit here we've got a bit of a reprieve from the wind it's been brutal you get gusts of probably 100 kilometers an hour by time that almost want to knock you off your feet so anyway everything's doing good Just another kind of a 360 <laughs> looking north that's uh, Yimnaska up there, in case you didn't hear in the last update. The prairies. So there's the false summit we just came off of. So, other than the wind, it is a beautiful day for hiking. Everyone going to sleep good tonight? Perfect. We'll see you at the top. Well, we are just a few feet from the top. Actually, I'm lost to ride. I'd have beat them, but I spent more time taking pictures, eh? Fire lookout. Oh, yeah, the kids went. Neil actually sold these guys a furnace that's waiting to get installed. There's Dylan. This is pretty cool. Where are the other guys? Hey, high five. Well done. That's where we came from. Give me a hug, Hayes. Oh, I love you. Yeah. Good job, Noah. Welcome to the top. You can hear the wind just howling through here. Beautiful. This is really worth the time and effort. <clears throat> There's our trail. So the wind is nasty, but we're a lot more sheltered up here than I expected. Out over this way. There's actually someone in the fire station. Cool. Okay, you guys have anything you want to say? Summit number two for Haley. Four for Dylan. Right on. Okay, we'll uh, do a few updates when we're going down. Well, let's uh, summit is exactly halfway point though. It's time to get off this big old rock. This wind's pretty cold here. So here's our uh, here's our path out. 
took us three hours to get up. I imagine we'll do it less than two coming down, but we'll see. We'll let me do it along the way. covered about two kilometers and 48 seconds pushing these things all the way up there was worth it hey Hayes nice trail now yeah. come around the corner here I think it opens up to that big meadow are long gone as expected. That's okay, Haley. We'll find them in the bushes somewhere after they crash. They'll be all crying and stuff like that. Then we'll have it on video, make fun of them forever. Pull it out at the 50th birthday party. The party theme will be like Johnson & Johnson, No More Tears, boys. I think we're very close to this final uphill. Begins. Yeah. This is the final punishment of Moose Mountain. It's the last 120 vertical meters. It's straight up to the parking lot. Anyway, we'll talk well, remarkably, we made it up that hill. Oh, what a punishment! After all that. in the final section. Powered out! These knuckleheads. The track's all cooled off. Uh-huh. Well, team, we made it. This will be our final transmission. The end. Thanks for watching.